What's going on everybody? It's Game Box Reviews here and welcome to the Road to Avengers Endgame. So this is a brand new series where I'll be playing through the story campaigns in all of the Phase 1 MCU video games on the run-up to the highly anticipated release of Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. So without further ado, let's get to it. Erskine gave me a gift. The strength to fight against the forces of tyranny. This is what I've been waiting for. I tell you what, this ain't how I pictured France at all. You said it. Not one day of sun in two weeks. The only girls I've seen have four legs and move. You here who just showed up with D Company? Oh. The captain. He's here. Yeah. The captain. What? He's a glorified poster boy. Poses for pictures and disappears when the action starts. I don't know. I heard he saved a bunch of guys in D Company who got captured. Wise up. It was staged for the newsreels. All that's for the folks back home. Nobody's coming to pull our butts out of this mess, kid. Yeah, what about the raid? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Stop the mysterious attackers. Now, here's the thing about this game. Unlike all of the previous games that I've played so far, such as Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, and Thor God of Thunder, I've actually played this one. This is one that I have completed before, and I absolutely love it. And I'm so excited to actually share it with you guys, because this is such a cool game. If you've never played it before, I think you're going to really like what you see. And if you see it for cheap, I would highly recommend you pick it up, because it is a lot of fun, and it really does expand on the movie in a very cool way. And I absolutely love Captain America the First Avenger, so it's great to get to play more of that side of Cap, you know, in World War II and everything, which is really cool, right? Can I smash that? I don't think I can. Now, even though I've played this before, I haven't played it in a long while, so I have probably forgotten all of the controls and everything. But from what I remember, it's kind of similar to the Arkham combat with the free flow combat, which is really cool. And it's a lot of fun to pull off. Look at this. Here's a fun fact about this game. Apparently, Chris Evans, he played it, you know, Chris Evans, the Captain America, who also reprises his role to voice the character in this game, which is really cool. Apparently, oh, hang on, let's take out these guys first. Use X to maneuver and dodge attacks. I think you can go over them as well, can't you? Or maybe not. Okay, hang on, let me just take out these douchebags. There we go. Boom! Oh, nice flip! That was cool. Bring it. Yes! Hail Hydra? No thank you. I love the combat in this game so much. It is so fun. Oh, look at that flip. Yeah, I'm not very good at the moment, but I'll get better. Yeah, that's it. I was wondering. I was thinking, like, can't you uh, flip over them and everything? And yes, you can. Whee! I'm Captain America. Oh, ho, ho, ho. come on. That is awesome. I mean, the combat in this game is so fun really really is they definitely you know got inspiration from the arkham games anyway what i was saying was basically with this game chris evans uh, he actually played it and he said that he they got inspiration from the fighting style in this game for the way that the fight choreography was made in captain america the winter soldier so that's pretty cool and when you do play this game and you watch that movie there's definitely some similarities to the way that cap actually moves around and everything i mean that is definitely i would say after that movie cap just became so cool in the MCU. I mean, Chris Evans did a great job from the very beginning, but after Captain America the Winter Soldier, they made his fighting style so unique and cool to watch, and, you know, to get inspiration from this game, that makes a lot of sense, because the way he fights in this is super cool. Alright, so where are we going? We're we going... Well, definitely not going that way. 
Alright, let's uh, move over here. Here we go. Oh, we can grab enemies. Nice. Again, played the game, haven't played it in a long time, so I've forgotten a lot. Oh, that's so cool. I love the fighting so much. Yeah, take that. Ooh. And yes, you can throw your shield as well. I don't know if we've got that ability. I'll try it. Oh, we, yeah, we do. Oh, oh, that knocked him out. Vibranium. Don't mess with it. Keep going, Cap. We'll hold him here. Yeah, I will. I'm just uh, looking around at the environment and everything, because this is just the prologue. This is cool. It's kind of open world as well, this game. You'd be surprised, but you can actually, from what I can tell, what I've played previously, you can pretty much go wherever you want that you've uh, went previously, which is pretty awesome. Stop the mysterious attackers. Okay, so it is, yeah, it's kind of open world, like you're in a uh, Hydra base, if I remember correctly, and you can just wander around wherever you want, but still, the fact that you can go back and everything's pretty sweet. And, you know, if you want a more classic look, there's definitely some alternative costumes. There's this one, there's the Ultimate Universe cap, and they even have the classic one, which looks really cool. I've used that one quite a lot. Oh, look at this! That was cool. Stop the mysterious attackers, all right? Let's do this. R2 to throw the shield. Oh, nice. So we don't even have to target with it. Oh, I love the combat in this game so much. Boom. Don't mess with Captain America. Sweet. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, he's trying to get back up. Are you done? Are they down? I think they are. Is that it? Is there uh, nothing else to find around here? Maybe we have to smash these and it'll give us things. Is it me or did they just move? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. The physics are weird when you uh, hit things with the shield. Anyway, yeah, let's keep moving because there's nothing else here, obviously. Oh, look, there's a tank there. The graphics, I will also say, I'd say this game has the best graphics out of all of the MCU Phase 1 video games that they did. Definitely the best. It has the best gameplay, the best graphics. It's really, really great game. I'd highly recommend you pick it up if you find it for cheap. Oh, look at this big, big fella. Interesting helmet. Okay. I was gonna try and flip over you. Okay, maybe not. Oh, nice! Hold R1 and then press square to inflict a crippling strike. Alright, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this! Oh, yeah, see, that's another thing. The combat in this is so good. I love it. Absolutely love it. Watch as I do flips. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Miss me. Is anything over here? It's good to look around. You might find a collectible or anything like that. I wouldn't say the collectibles are too important in this game, though. I, you don't really unlock anything from them, if I remember correctly. It's more about uh, just collecting, really. Let me try that again. Shall I? Oh, you know what you can do? I think you can deflect his attacks with the shield. So I don't know how to do it, though. I haven't learned that. I think it was maybe triangle? No, not triangle. That doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just continue with the fight. Oh! We'll learn all of that eventually. Checkpoint reached. Nice. What the hell's going on? Since when does the enemy have ordnance like this? They don't. Yet. This is a different enemy. Get me Howard Stark. The music in this one ain't too bad either. It's pretty good. Captain America, Super Soldier. Loading screen. <laughs> Captain. Captain Rogers, HQ is on the horn for you. All 
All right, so I think that is the end of the prologue. So I think what we'll do now is we'll just leave this and then we'll come back to uh, the next mission in the next episode. What's over here? Anything interesting? No, but it's cool that you can walk around. Yeah, you see there, chapter one, standalone together. So I want to do chapter one in a separate video. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next part real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.